I was just doing research on how to use ChatGPT to write code and decided to make this tutorial to share with you guys. In this tutorial, I will be using Visual Studio Code, you know, VS Code. In my opinion, it's the best editor for writing code, but it's the only coding editor to my knowledge that has built-in GPT support. Well, not really built-in. I'm just saying you can use VS Code's GPT extensions in order to add ChatGPT to your coding workflow. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to open an existing JavaScript project on my C drive. Go to File, Open Folder, and Navigate to your Project Folder. I'll browse down to my C drive. Then I'll go to my Projects folder where all of my coding files are. This is where I have my JavaScript folder. Inside I have another project called YouTube. Don't enter the folder, just click on it once and click Open Folder button. Okay, now that the project is open in VS Code, let's add ChatGPT extension for writing code. Go to Extensions button on the navigation bar. In the input box, start typing ChatGPT. Write. Locate the ChatGPT for writing code extension. Looks like there are two of them with the same name. I'll pick the one that has more installations. Hmm, this one looks like it has 114,000 installs. Okay, click on Install button and go back to your project. Hmm, just close all of these tabs. That's annoying. Okay, now that you are looking at your project, here I have an empty function, actually. To use ChatGPT for coding, select the code you want to do something with. Right-click and scroll down to where your submenu has all of these new ChatGPT options. These options were added by the ChatGPT for writing code extension that we added in previous step. Nothing will happen, but don't panic. This is only because we haven't added our OpenAI API key yet. Go back to Extensions tab and select the Installed GPT for Writing Code extension again. Here, click on the Settings cogwheel. Then select Extension Settings. Here on this page is where you add your OpenAI key. But first, we need to generate it. Click on this OpenAI link to open your OpenAI dashboard. If you don't have an account yet, you have to register one. I highly recommend it. If you want to use ChatGPT for coding, an OpenAI account is essential. Click on Create New Secret Key button. You can use any name you want, but for this tutorial, I'll just name it How to Use ChatGPT to Write Code in VS Code. Click on the green Create Secret Key button. OpenAI will only show you this key once, right now. This is why it's important to save it somewhere in a safe place. That's right. You will not be able to copy this code again, even from your dashboard. This is the one-time opportunity to copy it to your settings. Of course, you can always create another key, but I'm just saying. Okay, with the key copied, let's go back to VS Code. Paste the key into this input box. Just so you know, every time you use GPT to write or optimize code, you will be using your paid OpenAI GPT tokens. Keep that in mind. It shouldn't be much anyway, but you can set your extension token limit here, which by default is set to 1024. Now select GPT model. I'll leave it at DaVinci. I mean, chat GPT model is nice, but DaVinci 003 may be more suitable for tasks that require concise responses. And that's essential for writing code. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's go back to our code base, select the function, and right-click. Here I'm going to choose code GPT, explain selection, and chat GPT will explain what this code does. Of course, this is just an empty function, but this is a great way to learn how to code. Just be creative and ask anything you want. To ask GPT any coding question, Right-click the selected code, scroll down to Ask Code GPT option. Hmm, okay, I think I found it. Thing is, I have so many GPT coding extensions installed and they all get in the way. Okay, so how do we actually write code with ChatGPT? I'm going to ask Code GPT to write a function that adds two numbers. It's pretty simple. One thing I learned with this particular extension is that if you click on the function, it gets copied over to your source code. I'm sure it would be a hassle otherwise. Imagine clicking, selecting, and clicking copy and paste all the time. Okay, now I am going to ask CodeGPT to write a function that draws a labyrinth. I'll also ask it to use a known labyrinth generation algorithms. I don't know what to expect. I'm using this for the first time myself. Okay, on the left-hand side, ChatGPT gave me the labyrinth generation function. The only problem? For some reason, it decided to write it in Python, and that's okay. Oh, and another thing. The body of the function seems to be missing the actual labyrinth generation code. It did put emphasis on me saying make it random, though, so I have to be more careful about what I tell it to do. It simply filled the labyrinth with random blocks. There is no actual labyrinth path. This doesn't mean it doesn't work. I just need to get better at writing more detailed coding prompts. But for now, what I can do is, I can ask CodeGPT to rewrite this function in JavaScript. So this is how you write code using GPT. 
This is the workflow. Asking questions, copying code, and asking GPT to rewrite the code again. With each step, save the valuable code generated by GPT and ask it to change or improve it. It's a process. But basically, this is how using ChatGPT for writing code works. I will be doing more coding and AI tutorials in the future. It's up to you if you want to subscribe or even like this video. I'm just trying to do my best to help others learn.